Golf for Roman of the Roman Show with the ladies of Butcher Baby, Heidi and Carla Girls. It's a, it's a pleasure to see you guys again. Thank this you. time we're not under the hot weather uh, yeah. here in the summertime where it's uh, in the fall, but we typically always have summer here in Florida. So yeah, great performance, by the way, guys. Thank Amazing you. stuff. I know you guys play a little bit of the new stuff. I'm going to start off with, with uh, Heidi first. Headspin, I heard he plays that. I know yes. one of the comments was, is, I, I know you guys don't know it yet, but soon you will. Well, I mean, we, yeah, we just released it a couple of days ago. So uh, we actually had quite a few people singing along with us. So that was really cool to look out and see people singing a song that, I mean, it, it you've had like four, maybe what, two days to listen to it. So um, it was really cool to look out and see people singing it. And last night it was the same thing. We looked out and pe saw people singing along. So, um, it's cool to see that reaction to a brand new song. One thing I noticed about Headspin, it has a, a different approach. It starts a little melodic, it gets a little heavy. Is, is this a different take? Is this what we're going to expect in the new album, Lilith, when it drops later this There's week, a lot this month? Of melodic stuff on our first album, Goliath. And um, we've always loved stuff like that. We love harmonizing together, we love singing, we love screaming as well. So this whole album runs the gamut of, of emotions and, and different kinds of screams and sings. And so there's a huge, very down element to it. So how, how was the production in, uh, in this record compared to others in the past that you guys have done? Oh, it's very different. I mean, every album we've done, we've done with a different producer. Um, this one in particular, it was really cool because, uh, you know, we've known Steve Evitz for a long time, and he's always, you know, we've, we loved work. We, we did a, one song with him way back in the day, and it was never released, but we really enjoyed working with him at that time. So when it came up to do the album with him, we're like, yes, absolutely. One thing that's great about Steve is he's a perfectionist, which I fully appreciate when doing an album. He doesn't do any auto-tune, any pitch shifting. Uh, he doesn't do fake drums. He doesn't do fake anything, really. Everything you hear on the album was actually really played. No auto-tune in this one. Oh, yeah, no auto-tune. I mean, um, every, every album you hear nowadays has... Yes auto-tune or fake drums Mo a, a lot of metal bands do that uh, where they have fake drums but um all, a lot of music <laughs> in in other genres i mean they do it too so uh, it was really cool to be able to really do everything it, the tambourine is real the shakers are real that you hear in the very first song on the album which you'll hear soon um everything's real and that was really fun to be able to do that with steve he uh, he sits outside the vocal booth. And he's like, ah, that was a hair sharp. Let's do it again, <laughs> to perfection, which is great because when you go in to play it live, you've done it a million times, and and you, you know even in rehearsal, it's like you've done it a bunch of times. You know what? No, you know how that feels in your throat to hit that. So. Um, it was a really, really great experience, and I can't wait to work with him again. And I can't wait to hear the complete album when it drops. Carla, you've been busy, too. You're not only a, a musician, but also a novelist, an author, and an artist. How, how do you find the time to do all this stuff? I think we all, we all have different creative endeavors. When you're a creative person, you just do different things. I mean, that's how I make a living. So I have to, it's like having a job and then also following your passion. My passion is this band. It has been since the beginning. So I have to have some kind of income. So my, my income stems from my other creative endeavors, you know, art and writing and stuff like that. But we all do something else to, you know, to survive. It's music is so, it's different nowadays. You don't get huge record deals with huge advances. We all work our butts off in one way or another to make ends meet so that we can keep doing this, you know. It's the way it goes nowadays. You guys start the way, way, way back. You were going to comic cons. You guys have any plans of going to any you know, comic cons? We still do go to comic cons. We have so much fun. Heidi and I have a project together coming up called Blood Sister, where we make all different kinds of cool things together. She's super crafty, so we put our my art and her craftiness together to make these awesome products. And we we love uh, comic book culture and, and all that stuff. So we'll definitely be at more. But I mean, we're kind of busy doing the. To, you know, being on the road and, and playing our music. Yeah, we actually just did one in Charlotte. And it was cool because um, a lot of people that are coming to these shows had, had met us at that Comic-Con, didn't know we were in a band, and we're like, you're coming to the show, and they did. It's awesome. Um, you know, I think um, stuff like that all goes together. Comic culture is very similar to heavy metal culture. So it's it's cool to be able to, to you know, do both. But like, the next two and a half months, 
we're living on this bus and playing shows every night. So no Comic Cons for us. <laughs> Speaking of which, very diversity in this tour with Hollywood Undead and, and Denver, which, mind you, I, I found them pretty cool uh, opening yeah. up for you guys. Tell me about this tour and what can people expect once they visit the city. You know what I love about this tour is the diversity. And we've never done a tour like that. Never. You have a rapper, and then a metal band, and then hip-hop metal. <laughs> it's, it's super diverse, and I think that it's really cool. It's kind of a th like a throwback to like the Family Values tours, and I think that Hollywood and Dead did a great job in selecting their support acts uh, to come out and offer so many diverse musical tastes. I think that's great. I mean, that's how you bring people together, and like like it is at any show you ever go to bring so many people together that maybe you wouldn't have met prior to and maybe you wouldn't you you never cross paths and here you are in a group of people having a great time and i think that's what's beautiful about all shows ever and, and i want to touch base on that because today it so happened that we well yesterday we had that that horrible news and that shooting in las vegas so i want to get your take on it because me as a as a as a as a big fan of music and you ladies as performers, going into this thing, it just, so many things go in now as a fan and also as a performer. So I'd like to share with you first, uh, Carla, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, obviously it's horrible. Uh, you know, this has been going on for, for years now and, and all over the world it's been going on forever. You know, acts of terrorism or acts of, uh, you know, any act like that to me is an act of terrorism, whether it's Muslim, whatever. Um, obviously this is one sick person that wanted to leave his mark in a very horrific way. I, I think that um, mental, il mental illness is something that we don't deal with enough in this country. Gun control is something that uh, we don't deal with enough, but everybody has their own opinion. I don't really want to get political about it in an interview because we all have different opinions on stuff, but that's my thoughts on it. Uh, we'll talk about Lilith's dropping later this uh, this month, October. Make sure you check it out. Just in time for Halloween, so get ready to rock on and check out the ladies on tour coming to a city near you. This is The Roman Show.